celebration of Halloween if you celebrate it. And uh, thank you everybody for tuning in and obviously watching it from wherever you're watching. I said I was going to be live streaming at 5.30 to pretty much maybe an hour or two just to play around, test out some decks I've been trying to play test. And um, yeah, so <laughs> just like in the title, it says that I will be playing in a chicken suit. So yeah, I totally did it. And um, obviously I'm a teacher as well. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's fun to play in a chicken suit. My students really enjoyed it. And a uh, huge shout out to everybody that's tuning in on a Friday afternoon, Eastern time. And obviously West Coast time, it's like the afternoon. So it's like 530 here in the East Coast and then two o'clock in the, in the Pacific West Coast. And so, yeah, just like in the title, it says, uh, oh, why does it say DC? Uh, no, I'm not playing in a tournament. Let me change that on the, uh, I don't know why it doesn't read it as the uh, other thing. So weird. Ah, let me change it. Let me change the title of this really quick because it shouldn't be Core TCG Tournament. It's uh, me playing in a chicken suit. <laughs> um, let me change it real quick. Let me edit it real fast. Uh, me I'm not playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing in a tournament. It's just the name of it. Um, playing Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Turn. What is it? Tony G. I wonder what it says on. On Twitch. If you guys are watching in Twitch, what does it say? Tony G playing online in a chicken suit oh that's weird that it didn't <laughs> yeah it's so weird that it's actually not um doing it the other way i set it up with that's kind of odd but you know what it is what it is i just updated it so hopefully it updates and hopefully it looks good there you go i'm in a chicken suit i think you could see it now on youtube which is pretty sick but, uh, yeah, that's really weird. I don't know why Restream does it. But huge shout-out to all you guys tuning in. Uh, Bob worked on notifying. Yes. Oh, it did. Oh, shoot. It actually notified it. Bro, you're going to get smacked by me. Oh, uh, my brother says, hey, Tony. That's funny. Oh, I think that's my brother. I'm not sure. It might not be, actually. I have a brother named Nathan also. And so there's two decks I've been playtesting. Uh, well, there's one I've been playtesting. Um, it's okay. It still feel like it's missing something. It's almost there. It's not the best deck yet. So I'll showcase them. Um, one of them is C Rod's deck, and another one is mine. So this is mine. This is what I've been playtesting. Um, it's iffy. I man, people are saying to play. Ooh, we got a subscriber. Shout out to Winco. Um, so yeah, it just depends on the. I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about this deck yet. It goes 50-50, I feel. Um, it depends. If you go first, you're going to win. Like, it's been pretty well for me. Like, it's been doing well. I do run results of training because I told C-Rod a while ago, I'm like, dude, you need this deck. He's like, take it out. I'm like, no, I've been playtesting, and I get stalled out sometimes. And then when you play Vegeta, they just blow it up, and then you're stuck. You can't even awaken anymore. So results of training was actually coming in clutch sometimes, so I keep it sometimes in my hand. Um, it just depends, honestly. Most of the time, you might get game, usually with Android 17, most of the time. And then this is C-Rod's deck, actually. I modified it a little bit. He actually had ran four apes, which was kind of crazy to me. Um, I still think Zeno is still one of the best blue unison cards, in my opinion, just because he ramps up really fast, really quickly, turn two, and um, you just let your stuff take off immediately like yeah he's 9k but for that turn that you usually use his effect always comes in clutch to me at least to me it just it's such a good card and um he's already like at four or five markers when he's already brought out turn two which is really great i think he's still one of the best unisons i still like running him um so yeah this is the deck i've been playtesting i'm still trying to modify it i don't know what to add and what to change but it's been working out so far and um uh i don't know i've been i'm, I'm gonna play test both of these i just modified the vegeto i haven't play tested that one at all i don't know really his entire like abilities like i know if you use two blue energies he gets like triple strike or his unison that you're using 
Um, but it's kind of similar to the Vegito, Gogeta and Vegito. I just don't want to play Starter Coup just because I'm not like, I want to see, because I don't have all the cards for Starter Coup just yet. Um, these are the cards I have as of now. Um, what I'm play testing with and what I have uh, compared to, yeah, that's why if you guys are wondering, like, how come you're not running four and four uh, baby unison? I'm like, that's all I got. <laughs> I'm literally building these decks based on what I have. So I do have most of these. I do have four Obunis, but I think four and these two would be really good. Like a 3-3 three, three split is really nice in my opinion. Um, and I also do have the cha uh, tournament packs now for these guys. I have three and three. Um, but yeah, so right now I only, I'm only running one Goku just cause I do have more, but I just prefer to run one. It's been coming in handy at one, but hit up in the chat. I'm playing in the chicken soup. <laughs> I like Gogeta. Gogeta is really fun. Like if you manage to awaken turn two, no, not turn two. I mean, uh, like turn three ish. Um, it ends up being really strong in my opinion. I've always wanted to work, but ended up changing it for SS4 cause, uh, why not? I think so, but the cool thing about Gogeta, it has a built-in removal, which is really cool in my opinion. I think that's one of the cool things I like about this deck is that you could bottom deck a lot of annoying cards that you just don't want to keep dealing with. Like, it doesn't KO, so I think it removes a boonie from the field. Like, this card can't be KO'd um, as long as there's tokens, but you could bottom deck them. <laughs> like, it, it, it gets over a lot of stuff that can't be KO'd, which is pretty annoying right now. Um, so those are the two decks I've been playtesting. I think this is what the blue deck I might be playing in the, uh, online tournament next time in the webcam. So that's why I'm like trying to play something different. Not like obviously the starter coup, like, is it better than starter coup? I don't think so. <laughs> I think starter coup is still probably the best deck in my opinion when it comes down to blue, but because it's meta, I don't want to use it. I I refuse to play Starter Coup. I mean, if I do play Starter Coup, it would probably be a very weird variant. Like, I would probably run some weird wonky stuff. Like, I wouldn't want to run it like everyone else is. Um, but, yeah, no, I definitely am playtesting uh, these two. Well, today I will be playtesting this one just because I don't know what he does that well. Like, I don't know the play style to it yet. Um, so, I might play that. I might play this. Um, but these two are the ones I'm leaning towards for the webcam event, uh, just because C-Rod kind of convinced me, he's like, yo, Vegito's pretty good, try it, and I'm like, ah, alright, I'll give it a try, I mean, what, it doesn't hurt to try it out, you know, and he awakens pretty early, because I think as long as a blue card is KO'd, uh, or it's placed, this is when it's placed in the drop area, or you awaken, and usually you want Dr. Rhoda, so it works out very well, so I think I might play it out, um, so we'll see. Vec was more decent now that Denial Hope is not a player expect. See, that's the one thing I think that's why I've been getting away with ramp a little bit. Just because no one has barrier removal right now. Like, no one does. And then the Veku just being there is just kind of like sitting there for no reason. Like, he's just there to block, obviously. But by turn two, turn three, uh, turn two, I usually say, because you play Zeno most of the time, like, you usually open it up. Sometimes if you don't, you got to look for it. Like, Zeno is your key maker in this deck. Like, if you're not going up against an aggro deck, Zeno is your MVP. Um, yeah, so it's so far it's been working out okay. Uh, I don't know. I want to try the Vegito deck just because c was, like, telling me it's a really good deck. And I'm like, all right, let me try it out. I mean, I've been playing Gogeta, so if you guys want to check this list out, I recommend it. Um it's fun. It's something different. Uh, no, I'm not playing in the PPG event just because uh, it got capped before I even got to register. So let me play now. I'm going to set up a game if anybody wants to play test. I'm only going to be on for a while. SPZ live stream. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'll try. Wait, I want to see if the decks are. Hold on. Before I set it up, are the decks in there? Gogeta and Vegito. Perfect. Awesome. Now it's set up uh live stream so those of you that are tuning in definitely check it out if you guys want to play bringing your random decks i don't mind i am having this is the first time i actually have a a decent time like i still have a lot of work to do but i want to dedicate some time to the fans because i feel like i haven't been on the youtube scene that much recently just because i've been swamped someone said but it's not letting me join the discord could you get back to me on Oh, dude, so sorry. I did see that. I'm so sorry. I got swamped with work. Um, can someone send this man the 
Discord invite por favor on the chat, please, because I know for some reason I don't understand why the uh, why the uh, I don't know why Patreon stopped working. Like when I connected it to the uh, to the Patreon, the link was supposed to automatically send it to the people. But because of it, I don't know, for some reason, it doesn't do it recently. It's so odd. I don't get it. I mean, I got to double check why. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, so I, let, I'll figure that out soon. Um, but corrupt, I will send you a message personally. Tony, play a fan, not me. Oh, okay. Uh, can keep playing without. Yeah, sure. Casey. Oh, it's because <laughs> these guys are funny. Um, let me end this game. Maybe it might have to refresh. Let me do it again. Uh, but yeah, corrupt. Uh, let me see if I could get you the Discord link really quick right now. Just because that's kind of odd. Yeah, I don't know why it's been messing up. I relinked it and it's not working. I, I don't get it. But sent the link on both sides. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it, I did all the troubleshooting and still wasn't letting me. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry, dude. Like, it said that it linked it, but it somehow doesn't send the people that are subscribed to the Patreon back to the to the Patreon. Like, the Patreon to the Discord. And it says it's linked. It's so weird. I don't understand. Like, it's been... I don't know, man. I can't... I don't know. All right. Let's see what this deck's about. I'm going to try C-Rod's deck. Um, just added, like, one or two cards that I thought. I'm still not a fan of 60-card decks. I really prefer just playing 50. Um... Or maybe 52 is probably my max that I would try to do. But as of now, that's all I'm doing. I mean, hopefully it worked corrupt. So sorry that it was giving you issues. Let me see if I can put some Spotify music so you guys don't just hear the dead space in the background, which is like traffic. <laughs> oh, what? I have to log in. Why is it telling me to log in? Oh, let's save my password. Dopamine. Dopamine. Uh, let me get some live stream music going. Free live stream. Free gaming music is what I usually put on Spotify. Ah, is it working? Tamer wants to play. Let me see. Where is the... Ah, here we go. Perfect. There you go. Play this in the background. But yeah, I'm in a chicken suit, guys. Smash that like button. Smash this live stream because I'm in a chicken suit just to celebrate Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um, one of my favorite besides, uh, what is it, um, 4th of July. I really enjoy Halloween, and this was for my students. I do teach pre-K-4, so I was just like, yo, guys, I'm going to be a giant chicken. And they're like, no, you're not. I'm like, yeah, watch me. And so I just try to do, like really fun stuff for my kids and um so i will go first i'll go i'll play a few games for, with some fans tamer you are not a fan you are a person i talk to every day you are literally a friend <laughs> okay so i think with this deck you really want to just open up like a blocker or something i'm guessing um i definitely want to open up a unison for sure that's what i want to send back but uh yeah hit up that smash that like button for checking this out thank you everyone that's all 50 you guys thank you like it's a lot of people for just being a friday afternoon for everyone uh do you guys still want to have more do you guys want us to bring back the super tournaments i think that was one thing c-rod and i were talking about the other day and then um and let me put the live points here put eight Bro, I literally just... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> Invert this dude. And... I don't... I don't think I draw for... Oob. oob. <laughs> Casey's favorite card. Oob. <laughs> um, and then I'll just pass at this point. Um... But, yeah, huge shout-out to everybody. Thank you, everyone. Hopefully, we could bring back the... I don't know if you guys want the tournaments back. I just got the rest of my cards from Core TCG. Dang! Shout-out to Core. Like, they just sent me some cards I needed. Might want to turn down the music in the back. Oh, it's, it's a little too loud. There you go. Uh, block. 
no combos. I think he await. I think if this guy is KO'd, I th let me see what it says. Uh, when this card draw one card, if it's your opponent's turn, when one of your blue unison cards or his blue card is placed in the drop area or would be placed in the drop area by battle, or when you remove from, you may flip this card over, and if you do, draw two cards. Okay. Awaken. Awaken now. Beast mode. Draw two cards. He's dead. Sure. Ooh, nice. Dopamine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm testing this deck. It might be pretty solid. Um, I definitely like Gogeta a lot too. Gogeta's pretty awesome. Now for the spice. What is he playing? He's playing Hatchack. Discard one card from your hand and play Evil Wizard from and Drop Ray. When this card is played, choose. Wait, how did he play that? Oh, you play. Oh, you discard this card from your hand. Play one Evil Wizard. Mmm. And then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost four or less and send it to the warp. And then place up to three of your battle cards. Okay, cool. Nice. I'm going to draw one card, and then I think... Oh, my goodness. That's rough. Uh, at this point, I think I might have to charge Unison. Invert. Um, attack his leader. Oh, my gosh. There we go. With the Nahu. There we go. I think when he attacks, draw one card. Right? Hopefully my internet is not too wonky. No response. Auto to draw. And I'm already at 15. I'm awakened, which is really nice. I can't complain about that, to be honest. And then we're going to pay two energies. Play our unison. I'm telling you guys, Zeno is still one of the best unisons. People just forgot about him for some reason. He's pretty awesome in my opinion, especially with the new stuff that came out. I love you. I love Zeno, man. Zeno's like one of my favorite cards. Let me see. How do I play the play the first top card? Yep, Dimension Magic, which is nice. Not a bad I uh, play one. And because I have a unison, does he have a counterplay? I think he needs to play one energy, though. Uh, if you have a blue unison in play, draw one card. Booyah, draw one card. Not bad. And then I end my turn. And this goes to the bottom of the, goes to the drop. There you go. It goes to the drop area. And a uh, huge shout out to everyone for tuning in. Not oob. <laughs> one of my favorite cards um oh he's charging he's playing one okay so when this card attacks okay Ooh, choose all battle cards ignoring barry and shuffle them into the owner's deck uh actually nah you're good no response he's fine maybe i should mm, i will block Boom, boom. Oh, b -b 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 boony! One of my favorite cards. I just like saying it. <laughs> oh, boony! He searches, and then he's probably gonna add a super combo, or one of those. What is it? The hatchyak, or not the hatchyak? The there you go, another one. Ooh, he's gonna try to bring out another one. Do 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 do. Uh, just is he gonna die? Okay, so he dies. This guy's effect because of that guy. Restand one and draw one. Ooh, Zeno's pretty awesome right now. No response on that. Cool. Oh, he's doing that. Okay. 
Uh, he lost a marker. Cool, took it. Either way. What did he? Did he open up two of them? I'd be tripping out if he opened up two. Huh. He's playing two, four. Ah, uh, his unison. Okay. It says, uh, once per turn, if your leader card is blue trunks, you can add one card from your life and at the end, switch one of your... Ah, okay. Cool. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. He's attacking my unison, that's fine. No response, that's fine. He loses a marker. That's fine, I lost a marker. I mean, I don't mind at all. <laughs> uh, and then it says, if your leader card wants return. Oh, he chooses not to. Ah, okay. Draw one. Uh, do I want to put that? I think I might put... Actually, might be pretty solid. Um, hmm. Do I want to put that? Uh, I don't know what to put. Uh, I will put this guy. And then I'll use his effect. Oh, boony. Play one. Oh, wow. Unlucky. And then there we go. And then we will attack his. What is it? Is uh, that guy? <laughs> Dimension magic, draw one. Ooh, Dr. Rhoda. It's not a bad card. Um, hmm. Let's do this. Let's play. Oh, Booney. Let's shake his ability. Let's him bring out. He's deflect, oh boy. He can't. On tokens? Well, you could do that on tokens? Interesting. So the tokens get bounced back to me? I, You could do that? I thought you couldn't do that. That's so odd. Whoops. Ah, I got destroyed, so remember. Okay, well, I'll use his effect, I'm guessing. Yeah. Dope. Um, hmm. Battle. Yep. Hmm. I will attack this guy. Another negate. I will be tripping out. Wait, this guy's a counter attack. Okay, that's fine. This man has all the negates. Okay, so he's running out of cards in his hand. That's fine. Um, I guess I will pass, and this guy dies, and this goes up. Where is that card I'm looking for? Mm-mm-mm. No bueno. Uh, he's not awakened yet, so no response. That's fine. The only downside about Zeno is that he's a 9k. That's the only drawback. This guy has all these attacks, though. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm. He's playing two... What's he gonna do? Hatch Yak. Uh, it says, yeah, I'm bouncing that dude back. I don't know what does he do. It says, uh, yeah, I'm gonna counterplay that. 
<sighs> this goes to the drop. Mm-hmm. He's obviously gonna attack that guy. No response. This is unlucky. I have not seen a trunks. Even if I had a trunks, I don't think it would have stopped them anyway. Uh that's fine. He's gonna get hit with that. Um <laughs> yeah, I'm in a chicken suit. Have you tried that combo? Which one? Can you play a, play him or is it just a certain person? I can play anybody. Like whoever comes in just gets a I already took it. Um whoever comes in is welcome to play, you know? And then if he gets KO'd, I get to restand one energy and yeah, let's see what happens. Still has four cards. Wait, how did he? Wait, you could choose to not take. But don't you have to put one back? It says you add one card from your life and oh, switch up to one of your energy. Oh, he has to take a life though. Oh. Mm-hmm. No negates. Uh no response. I mean Zeno's pretty much dead. <laughs> Sensu Bean. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. His effect. Oh my gosh. Restand one, draw one. Okay, that's not bad at all. Mm. He's playing it again. It says, when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch four or less and switch, uh, place it in the owner's, place it three cards from the owner, from your opponent's dropper in any order. Warp, okay. He tapped out for that though? Man is wild. <laughs> okay. And then what does he do? Oh, he gets that play for free. And we got our new subscriber, Winner Soldier 44. He's running out of cards though. Why would he do that? Hmm. Negate the attack when we play this card. Hmm. See, the only issue I'm having is that I cannot get rid of this guy. I need more of a barrier removal. That's what I'm realizing this format. Wait, how did he get two? Oh, is that what he's... Oh, he picks three from his drop area and then plays up to three battle cards from your opponent's drop area at the bottom of the name. I mean, I don't have any battle cards. I mean, does he want to put those? <laughs> wait, how did he add... Oh, wait, did he play two of them? Wait, how did he do that? Oh, it says look at the top two cards and add. Oh, wow. Look. So that's what happened. He had two of them in his hand. Oh, wow. What a sack. <laughs> no response. Uh, 20K. All right. I will take it. I mean, I'm still at four. I meant eight lives. My super combos are still not active yet. Let's see what he does. Draw one. And dang, dude, I keep drawing the beans, I swear. It's not what I want to want like get. You know, at this point, he's at four. He's at four. Okay. Let's attack this man. Hmm. Negate. Okay, could do that. All right, let's see what we could do. I run three as my second. Oh, I haven't actually tried it. I mean, I want to. <laughs> he has three. What can I do here, guys? I mean, he has a full board. What does it say? When this card plays with energy cost, deck and skills. Okay, uh, when this card is played, play one of in. Okay, no response. Okay, you're good. I mean, no. You're fine. 
How, wow, what are the odds though? Look at the top two cards from the top of your deck and add two Agent of Destruction in them. Wow, and they both happen to be negates, which is crazy to me. <laughs> That's wild. Ah, he's playing that. Hmm. He's doing all that. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna play one, two, three for Zeno. Add three markers on them, use the effect, shake them, add three. Play one. Oh my gosh, of course it would be a <laughs> This deck doesn't even run, it only runs two dual color cards and it runs, oh my gosh, that's cool. Um, hmm, not much I could do there now. Oh man, ouch. I mean at this point I can't even play anything because of that. Ah, bummer. I mean, does he have a counterplay? Wait, he plays that. Uh, I'll just do that. I mean, if he has it, he has it. Does he have a response for that? Dr. Rhoda. Response? No response. Dope. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, he's going to attack me with a bazillion cards right now, so I can't really do much there. And uh, I think I just might have to pass at this point. Put this in the drop. Wow, what are the odds of hitting dual color? I swear. Hmm. Let's see what he does. What is he doing? He's playing to choose one of your opponent's battle cards. Okay, so this, I think when this guy's KO'd, or is this, what, what does this guy do? Does Vegito's effect still resolve, though? If one of your opponents, okay, once per turn, if your opponent. Vegito resolves, right? He paid two for that? Vegito resolve that I'm too lazy to type it all correctly. Cause it would yes, leader. Okay, cool. Let me put this guy at the bottom of the deck. Bottom deck it. This guy reactivates one, draw one. Oh wow, another rota. That's crazy. Alright, let's see what I could do here. He's barrier unique. Can't do much there. Um, I mean, sure, no response. It sucks, I don't have anything to. Hmm. Hmm, it's cool and all, Tamer, but why just... <laughs> oh, they're wondering, he has two, four... What is he gonna bring out, though? Uh, sure, I mean, no response. <laughs> That's still crazy, though. He drew two negates. I'm still tripping out that literally the two cards were the Agents of Destruction cards. I mean, let him kill Xeno. I really don't care, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still at seven, which is wild to me. It becomes scarier if this keeps going later and later, in my opinion. Oh, he's attacking my leader, finally. Uh, no response on that. I will take it. I mean... 
There we go. That's what I wanted to watch. Fine. Um, hmm. Do I want to do that? Hmm. No response. 15k. Hmm. I mean, I'll take it just to see what happens. Okay, that's where it was at. I was wondering where it went. <sighs> I mean, no response. What is he doing? Uh, 15k. I'll place this guy to rest mode. Shake that dude. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I don't know what he's going to do. Who's he in attack? The unison? No response. 15k? Yeah, it's fine. What's he playing? He's playing two? What does this do? This is when this card chews up to one card in your opponent's battle card. Yeah, I'm just gonna, he's tapped out. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, cause he did that effect. Gotcha. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think I could. Hmm. I think I know what I could do here. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing turning the tides anytime soon. Hmm. Add two markers on them. Play one. Oh, wow. What are the odds of it being another Zeno? Invert that. Hmm. 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 Let's attack his leader. Is he going to negate me? Dimension magic. Oh my gosh. This man has all the negates. Mm. Uh, no. I think I misplayed there. I could have done that. What was I doing there? Hmm. He has another negate. Let me see. So he has that. My guess he's just trying to like. I'm just trying to think. Mm, if he has that, then he could easily bottom deck my stuff. Hmm. Nope. Two, three, four, five, six energy. I think I might pay four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. 
for this dude. And let's see what I can do here. Uh, draw one card. Draw one. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm. This man has two, four, six, eight. What is he trying to do? Is he trying to sell me? I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play Rhoda. Response? No response, gotcha. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I don't know why this keeps moving. Uh, who do I attack here? I don't think it matters at this point. Let's get rid of that guy. Of course, he has a negate. <laughs> Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> this dude had all the negates, what the heck? That's insane. Uh, no, it's fine, no response. No <laughs> response. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. Man, that is crazy. This dude had four negates in his hand. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. I mean, there's nothing I could do there. Just like, there's nothing... I can't get through. That is crazy. Red is set. I'm about to get sold. I mean, I don't know. It depends. It's playing two, four, six, eight, ten, eight, ten, twelve. He paid two. No response. If it was Gogeta, I'd be bottom decking everything right now. <laughs> what does this do? Uh, when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards when the energy costs four or less and send it to the owner's warp. And then place up to three battle cards. Warp Rota. Uh, when this card is KO'd. Okay, so he's warped. This guy activates. Restand one. Oh my gosh, this thing is so weird. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to think. What can I do here? Uh, no response. Uh, you know, you're not supposed to let him play that many cards. I mean, what removal does Blue have, though? <laughs> Uh, he's gonna do that. Add a counter on that. Have been. He's attacking my dude. Mmm, not sure if I should. Uh, he doesn't want me to. No response. Yeah, you're good. Oh, he's gonna play that for free. Fifteen K to the unison. Sure. I can't believe I let you get away. Cause you made everything. What is he doing? I can't believe I let you get away. I'm very confused. <sighs> uh, I'm trying to think. I could do that. But then I'm susceptible to a Cell Xeno attack right now if I do that. And I don't think I could survive that. 
No response. That's fine. He takes the hit. Is he trying to get rid of my cell Zeno? Not my cell Zeno, my... That's fine. Jesus, there's so many attacks. I mean, what is he gonna do? That's fine, I already took it. Uh, what is he doing? I don't quite understand. Hmm. I mean, that's all my Zenos. I can't, uh, can't remove his stuff. Hmm. Who's he attacking? Uh, no response. Twenty K. Twenty-five. What? He, just, <laughs> he said nah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see what I got. I gotta draw something. Let's see what I draw. Oh wow, that's useless now. Would have been nice to see it earlier. But I won't. I'm still gonna charge that. I'm gonna attack your leader. Cause I mean, if this man has another negate, I think he's used up most of them. I think he's used two, three negates. Okay, that's fine. Uh, draw one. Uh, mm, do I want to add that in there? Just uh, 15. Let's see what he does. Hmm. Actually, no, nah, I should have done that. It's too late to combo, I can't. Is he gonna take it? Oh, he used it, okay. Hmm. Play one for Rhoda. Any response on that? <laughs> Not much I could do there. Response? Yeah, this thing struggles because there's no removal in this deck. Besides Zeno, but I hit three Zenos from energy, which is crazy. Charged one, and I drew two. Two of them got hit in energy. Womp womp. Response on this big old ape. Response, sir. Ah, the go tank stuff. Yes, I totally for I mean the mass saying I I should add that in this deck actually the black card Is he not responding? What's going on? No response cool. I mean not much I could do now I'm gonna be attacked by like a bazillion cards right now Womp 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 Two bottom deck this dude. Oh my goodness, this guy keeps getting bottom decked. <sighs> bottom deck it. This guy's effect. Draw one. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. 
no response. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. What can I do here? I will rest. I don't think any of these matter. I think the 20Ks will probably be the worst ones. And I don't have any response to that. That's fine. Bum, 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 bum. No response. Uh, I actually don't have removal in this deck. That sucks. He has another negate. Wow. Thought he used them all. <laughs> So he used two, he has one. Okay, this guy definitely has the, uh, that. Okay, I mean, I need to do that. No response. Hmm. Uh, I'll take it, whatever. <sighs> what is he doing? I'm really confused. Uh, no response. 15k. Uh, da, 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 I'll take it. I mean, at this point, I don't think I'm gonna survive any of those attacks. Oh wait, never mind. I actually, might. <laughs> uh, he's attacking. Um, I mean, I don't think it matters. I can't do anything because yes, actually, he. Even if he cell chains me, he might have to bottom deck stuff. Uh, no response. Just 15k. Uh, da, 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 I'll take it, whatever. Oh, wow, what are the odds of getting another one? I mean, what's he doing? No response. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I don't have to take it, but I'll take it anyway. Why not? Let's see. I don't think that's going to help me. What does he do? Does he have super combos in his hand? Hmm. One, two, three. Mm. I mean, I don't think I could win anymore, to be honest. Uh, I took too many hits. I shouldn't have taken them. <laughs> He's playing smart. He's just aggressing with little Tony until Tony is down to zero and slams down his hand. Uh, just no resp I mean, no response. Let's see what he does. No combo fifteen. Okay. Mm, 
Mm, no response. 20. I think this lets me restand it. Choose one of your, if it's your opponent's turn. Yep. Roly. Uh, with what? I mean, I have no response. What am I going to respond with? Yes, you do. I'm just going to negate that. I mean, I don't know. If he has it, he has it. I mean, just sell Zeno. I don't, I don't understand. Wait, he didn't attack. Wait, what is he attacking with? Oh, he's attacking with that dude. What is he doing? No response. Oh my gosh, I knew he had Sensu Beam. Super combo. So he's at 6, 16? To 16. Uh, okay. This guy? <laughs> Three? What are you doing? What? Wait, I don't understand. Pace three. Oh, to get the energy? I, I'm very confused. <laughs> so he's putting his energy down. He paid one. Uh, I mean, I mean, I have no counters. <laughs> I had no counters. Wow, this man had two super combos. So 25, 30, 25, 35, 45. I think that might be game on my end. Uh... So, oh wow, he had all the God Ceiling techniques. See, that's why I didn't want to risk it. So he's at 25. Oh my gosh, here I thought he was going to sell Zeno me and he's playing this guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, 25, 35, and that's game, GG. Yeah, this deck needs... Yeah, Christian's deck needs removal. I just realized that he does not run. He does not run what you call it, uh, the warping card stuff. I would have been warping and stuff real quick. Oh wells. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I legit thought he had a. I mean, no hate, Tony G, you the man. I feel you for you. Just survive. Draw all your negates. I mean, I honestly did not draw enough. I mean, I draw, I run three apes and I still didn't see it. Oh, wow, there it is right there. And I don't know. I mean, if I had one negate, I think it would have been, that would have probably been game that following turn. He didn't have negates. What were the next cards? I didn't even see a super, oh, I did see, I don't like this super combo. I'm not a fan of these. I'm not a fan of dual color super combos. I don't, you want to draw more with this deck, so I kind of wouldn't play that. I would cut that, and I would just probably want to draw more for sure. Drawing more is essential because I would have just put these guys at the bottom of the deck because I didn't want to see them at all. Well, that was a good game. I mean, I'm going to go open up another game because Tamer, I want to play with the fans. <laughs>
<laughs> oh no, wait, that's not what I want to do. Finish game and leave. Um, that was a good game. GG. Um, yeah, I think that's what I noticed. I think about the deck, it needs more removal for sure. And then I think Vegito, I think I would cut the Zamasu because this, you only have two targets technically for this combo. That's not, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. I would cut these for maybe the Overrealm cards you might need. Um, for sure, I would cut this for those and then just change it up from the other super combos because yeah that this is not good i don't like this little package to see right at it let's try gogeta next there we go so now i'm gonna play my deck let's see how this one does um i definitely might run the overwhelm cards that you guys were mentioning it uh you guys are totally correct about it and uh yo yo i didn't type it yo so Let's see. I wonder if this is going to run the promo Broly's. Because if it does, it might be a little hard for me to win. Because I haven't played against an aggro match. Actually, hmm. It just depends. Ooh, I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. Let's see how this does against Broly. Because somebody was telling me. I'll go first. And then I'll draw. Let's shuffle my deck. I got... Shuffle, let's see what I draw. Well, not seven. <laughs> um, let's see. I probably not gonna survive long enough for that. Might need these negates. Send that back. Send that back. God ceiling. And let's see. I mean I gotta open up uh Zeno as well. Shuffle. I need to see Zeno right away. I feel like in this matchup. Because it'll give me the chance to survive. For sure. Four. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, I run that card. I totally do. Such a good card. And then I'm going to put my life. It hurts not seeing Zeno. Oh, for sure. It, doesn't, it hurts to see no Zeno. But for now, I'm going to charge this guy. Use his effect. Search top five. Look at five. Hopefully I hit. No. Oh, wait. Actually, this is not a bad card. <laughs> I was like, no, I did not hit a card. No. But that's also a good card to see. And I will pass. That's what I like about this leader. You get to draw, which is nice. I have enough to survive a bit. Not an insane amount, but enough. <laughs> Hopefully I could survive. If not, I'm going to die. <laughs> um, but maybe it just depends so shout outs to all 60 of you guys spectating and watching you guys are amazing thank you everybody he took a life he said add one card from your hand and play oh we got a subscriber who did we get uh is sue i didn't get your name i just saw easy i'm just gonna say shout outs to easy thank you so let's see he played oh he took a life add one card from your hand and then for the turn add one extra card with an energy cost oh he's just playing Vampa. Gotcha. I don't know how this game's gonna go. If he plays the promo one, then yeah, it might be in a little. Oh, he's playing it? And then when you activate Vampa, you take a life, I believe. It says if your leader card is red. I think if you choose a card, oh, you have to choose one card in your life and add it to your hand, which he did. And then if you play a card, you discard one. Ouch. So you add one to discard one, which is not bad. You filter the deck a little bit better. So he says, look at the top seven, add one card from your life, and look at the top seven cards, and play up to one red. And this guy, does he have critical for the turn? Yes, he does. I will. Hmm. Nah, that's fine. No response. Ten crit, which is fine. Sure. Ah, it always hurts to lose a key card. You can swap, swap with you, bop, bop. 
This might be the last game. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's going to attack me. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So he plays Broly. That guy searches a bunch, I'm guessing. I don't know. Hmm. It just depends on what I draw next. I don't think I'm going to be going. He's adding the four drop. Okay. Is he going to attack or is he going to pass? Oh, he's going to attack. Okay, no response. 19. Yeah, I'll take that hit. Oh my gosh, nope. <laughs> Okay. I think he's just gonna pass at this point. Yeah. Whew. What do I have? Oh wow. Okay. Nice. I uh, do. I want to charge that. Mm, I think I might. People are gonna be like, "You run results of training? Heck yeah, boy!" Comes in clutch. <laughs> but not in this matchup for sure. Uh, use his ability. Shake this dude. Look at top five. Ouch, I'm not finding the cards I need. Where is my Baku? Mm. Shuffle. Shuffle. All right. So he's at five. Do I want to keep attacking him? Mm, no, because then with Vampa he might. Nah, I don't know. I'm just gonna pass at this point. Bum, 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 bum. But no, this is my Gogeta deck. Uh, it's rough that I have not seen Baku. That really hurts for sure. But skillless is to break the meta bet. <laughs> Someone saying play skillless. Um, hey, Tony G, how are you, man? I'm doing well. Saludos a Brazil. Gracias por el apoyo. I can't speak Portuguese, so I'll speak Spanish. Um, huge, mucho amor a Brazil. Thank you, everybody in Brazil for supporting the Super Players. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, I can't do anything. I mean, at this point, I can't do much. Um... I just gotta survive for now. I need to see Veku or Zeno as soon as possible because if I don't see those guys, I am gonna be in a lot of hurt for sure. And um, and uh, saludos a Brazil, saludos de Uruguay, saludos, gracias por el apoyo. We thank you. Le damos muchas gracias a Uruguay. Ni sabíamos que teníamos fans o oh. Supporters, <laughs> I can't say it. I don't know how you say fans in Spanish um, from Portugal, but I appreciate and the support of our brothers as well. I haven't seen that card in, in a minute, dude. I've used the result of training in these games, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Oh, he is playing the promo. Oh no! It says place one card in your drop in your life. Oh no! This might be a. I might be in a world of hurt right now, guys. I definitely might be in a world of hurt. <laughs> um, but, I mean, the most he could do is swap to the six drop, I think. I could survive. I could survive, I think. I definitely could survive. I could bottom deck stuff, and I could do some weird stuff, too. I could bottom deck his chain if I need to. This is what I like about this leader a lot, is that I could bottom deck a bunch of stuff, which is sick. Um, we stole the word... We use fans on in Spanish. Oh, okay, so fans. Okay, so fans in Spanish is the exact same thing. Okay, perfect. I thought I was saying it wrong. I, disculpe, or disculpa, disculpame. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was in a. It's he. Let me ask the uh, our our fans in uh, land speaking America countries, Spanish speaking countries. 
le gustaría hacer, uh, le, gust uh, le gustaría que nosotros hacemos videos en español. Would you guys like us to do Spanish videos? Because I know there's a, porque sabemos que hay muchos canales de de YouTube que hablan español para Dragon Ball Super Card Game, pero le gustaría que nosotros los super super players hacemos videos en español. Pon un uno en el chat o un dos, si sí, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, hit up in the chat. Let me know if you guys want us to do Spanish videos. It'd be, we did it one time and it got pretty decent amount of views. It was kind of odd. I was tripping out. So he has critical if he smacks me with it. Um, so we're going to see what happens. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go, baby. <laughs> ah. Mm, ah, mm, ah, mm, ah. No response. Twenty K crit. That's fine. I mean, I'll take the crit. I don't really care. Oh, wh what the heck, dude? Two dimension magics back to back in my life. I don't like that. Whenever it happens, that is terrible. That is terrible. He is swapping for the four drop. I'm pretty sure he's gonna, yeah. Four drop makes me warp one, I believe. And I get it back at the end of turn. Uh, Sure, I mean, it says if your leader card, when this card is played, choose one of your red unisons, add a marker on it. Then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and sends it to the warp. Sure, I mean, I'll get it back. I mean, I don't mind having the gates, boy. <laughs> um, yeah, I just need to survive long enough. Where is my Veku, guys? I'm getting real sad right now that I have not seen the Veku. 20. Okay, I'll take that. There is Zeno. Zeno! Thank God. I needed Zeno. <laughs> I definitely needed Zeno. I was getting worried here. I was definitely, definitely getting worried. Is he going to swap? At the end of my turn, I believe, if I warp it. Oh, is this what does this guy do? It says, okay, if your opponent has three or more energy. Wait, uh, if you have three or more. I think you, I need, you can't, you can't. I think you, you need, I need to to be at three energy you can't swap just yet buddy to swap if your opponent has three or more or you have four or more to swap yeah I mean with this deck I'm definitely gonna <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be at three for sure, I'm gonna be at three. No, you can't? How? I thought it says it in the card though. Doesn't the card say I have to be at three? He can't swap. It, it says if your opponent. Uh, What card was he playing? No, I think he. Unless you have three and unless you have three energy, I don't have three energy. He can't swap into unless you have. Wait, you were reading the six drop. Wait, what was he swapping that for? No, I think that's what it said. The three drop says the five drop says right there. It says if your opponent has three or more energy, or you have four more energy, you can swap into the six drop. Oh wait. Oh no no he can he can he can yeah you're right. You're reading the six drop. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. He swapped from four to five. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I got to warp one. Sure. I'll warp this guy then. He can summon. Oh, I thought he had to be at three. But it's him for swapping. Ah, gotcha. 
dope. Hmm. I'm gonna negate that. What is that crit hitting me? Negate. I shouldn't leave these in the warp. I'll probably forget. I'll just put them on the side. Oh my goodness. There you go. Draw one. <sighs> Alright, I drew that. Let's see what if I could draw it. Can I draw into a Veku? Shake this dude. Look at the top five. No Veku. Bummer. So I have no choice but to play Zen Zeno. Shuffle cards, no target. Um, one, two, for Zeno. And then uses effect. Play one. Uh, what is it? Play one. Oh, wow. What are the odds? The one card I needed was a Veku, actually. That's funny. Um, hmm. Uh, I think I will awaken alternate. Uh, Uh, what does he do if uh, when this card attacks when choose one card in your hand discard it when a red Broly card is removed from the battle area skill choose up to one red Broly gotcha I will attack your leader draw one um, just 15, 15. that what happens if i bottom deck this dude it says any broly card it says any broly card hmm pay one for my um let's me look at the top five Actually, mm, I think I might go with this guy right here. Hmm. Let me use this guy's effect. Blow this up. Draw one. Uh, draw two. Ah, hmm. do I want to see that chain?
response. Hmm. Hmm. I will bottom deck this guy. And then I will. Hmm. I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if that would be the smartest choice. Could do this. I mean, because if he attacks with that, this will definitely slow it down a bit, for sure. Hmm. We could just. Uh, I think I might. I will attack his unison. Just in case. Nine. And I will pass and turn. Please come back. I think I get him back at the end of my turn. Has to drop two because he doesn't have he has greater than oh my goodness when this card your opponent can't attack without a card's energy cost greater than their current turn unless they choose two cards so that means he has to bottom deck too oh <laughs> he's like no never mind <laughs> Yeah, no, it does that. <laughs> no, it's pretty wild. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting, that card. Is that game mine? Uh, no, no response to that. You're good. Five, sure. Hmm. He's swapping, okay. Who's he gonna attack? Ooh, 920k. Uh, no response. Hmm, he's playing that. Okay. Controly. It's <laughs> funny. Ouch. Oh, he's, he's hit pretty well, I think. Dope. My turn, draw one. Oh, 
Ooh. The question is now, if I want to play this guy. No, I don't want to play him just yet. <laughs> um, he's pretty, pretty rad. Uh, do I really want to charge a super combo is the question. That sucks. That definitely sucks. Um, I think I might have to, man. That's going to suck a lot. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to draw. Oh my god, this could come in handy for sure. Oh my god. Actually, no, I don't have to do that. I'll charge this red one because then I could just use the Broly effect to attack his leader. Topo me. That's fine. Cool. Auto to draw. Hmm, I could do that. Use this ability at two. Play one. Play one. Ah, that hurt. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm in a really tough spot. Ah, uh, I might have to blow up that red energy and I'm gonna be drawn back to three. Maybe I could do it actually, hold on. Uh, I should do that, I could probably do it. Why not, I will do that. I'll do this for three. Baku, off this dude and this dude. Then I will use his effect to get rid of this one. Draw two, because you don't want to open up red, because your super combos are dead when that happens. <sighs> hmm. I think I might have to pass. And this goes to the drop area. Let's see. Hmm. It's fine. Hmm. Oof. Um. If he attacks, it just depends on what he ends up doing. This guy gets KO'd. And then two energies get played. Play two, actually. Bam. Oh no, turning the tides. Do not. That's oh, fine. All right. 
let's see what I could do. Oh, we drew into Zeno, baby. <laughs> but I could also get hurt by that, though. Because if I don't... Let's see. Let's see what we could do. Let's... Should I charge that? I don't want to charge that. Ah, Zeno. Gosh darn it. Why you gotta be so good? Ignoring Barry and place him in the drop. So he would place these two. If he wants to bring out, he would have to bring out two Brolies. He has to discard two. And... Yeah, I think I might do that, actually. I might charge... Mm, do I want to charge Veku, though? I got my half to me, man. Alright, I guess I have to. Uh, let's attack his leader with my... Topo again. Perfect. I'll draw one. Ditch is one. Okay. Hmm. So that gets shuffled. He has to drop two more if he wants to do the Broly thing. I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna... And then uses effect. Five. It says choose all cards in all battle areas, ignoring Barry, and shuffle them to the owner's deck. Yep, shuffle them. So my this guy and this guy. I mean, he could resolve the Brolies if he really wants to. You can resolve Broly. <laughs> Just pitch your hand. Um, and then I'm just going to play one, two. Hold on. Oh, he's going to pitch two? Sure. pitch you gonna, you gonna pitch oh wow he's actually pitching ouch oof oh he's running out of hand okay I will pay Still has his topo effect active, so I'm gonna do my topo effect back. One, two, three, four, five, and six for this guy. Oh, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Add a counter on this guy. Um. We're gonna. This is effect. Minus one. Bottom deck this. Bottom. Draw two. <laughs> Use this effect. Uh, drop this. Draw two. Pass and get my negate back. That's why I love this deck, guys. This deck is so strong. Field card leaves also because of Zeno. Does it really? I don't know. Do the field... Uh, uh, no response. Actually... Um... I'll negate that. Boop. 
Wait. Wait, wait, what? What happened? No. No. Hello. Okay. Didn't mean to attack. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Um. Mm. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh no! Wait, you can't attack. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Wait, I think it has to. Hey, you you have to. You need to pop a card. Uh, you need to pop a card. It says, uh, unless you they choose one battle card and two or more and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Dang, dude, I didn't realize how good this Goku was. <laughs> I just wrote one because I was like, I need another unison. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that's insane. Okay, so he's just gonna, I mean, at this point he can't really do much. He's kinda locked out. I mean, if he draws Topo, that'd be pretty wild to me. Mm. Is he swapping? Bah! He's playing Bah! Oh, okay. <sighs> Field card? Oh, he's taking a life. Okay. See if I can bait out the. Mm, what do I want to charge here? Maybe sense of beans. Attack your leader. Draw one. Whoa. Fifteen. Mm. Fifteen. Dual attack. 
Let me add a counter on him so he's by can do attack. Oh, no negates. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna send to. And then I will super combo um, bottom deck this. Draw two. Oh, wow. Um, bottom deck this. Draw two. Um, so he's at 25, 35, 45, 50. 25, 35, 45, 50. 50 double strike. Oh, he had a super combo too. Wow. Oh, wow. He had two super combos. So 25, 35. 25, 35, 45. Oh, no, bro. 45, 45, 50, 55. Nice. If he has a negate, that'd be wild. Topo, he topoed me. That is nuts. Ditch one, buddy. Oh wow. Um, I'm just gonna bottom deck his. Um, And then, uh, three, four, five, six, all right. I have no idea, guys. This is just like the free, uh, is he attacking? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this and this. Does it go to the drop? If you have three or more energy, play this card from your drop. Oh. I think that might be game, guys. Gonna hard cast the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just to solidify that he has nothing in his hand. GG, dude. GG. That was a long game. <laughs> but this is the Gogeta deck. I still don't think it's where it needs to be at. I really wanted to be better. If you guys want to take a look at it, it's right here. This was fun. This was dope. This was dope. Um, if you guys want to look at it, it's right here. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, you could screenshot it. You could take a look at it, do whatever you guys want to do. I think if you guys want to perfect it, I think this might be really solid with the current game that's out there. 
Um, if you guys want to look at it, this is the deck. Um, I am like 50-50 still. I don't think it's fully there. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. I think it's a, it, it has potential for sure. I think Ojita is still one of the best leaders in my opinion. I keep saying it. I've been on this guy for like ever because he's such a good leader. And um, I highly, highly recommend checking it out. Um, I just bought all these cards. I literally have the Obunis. I got Obuni like in the mail not too long ago. Uh, where's it at? Right here. See, I just got this. And then I just got my package from Core that I picked some cards that I bought. I bought the um, Turning the Tides and I bought the um, Hatchiac. I have all the other cards. Uh, I also have the promo cards thanks to Mike, Super Mike out there. He, he hooked me up with them. And so this deck's almost complete. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything from it anymore. But as of now, this is what it is. I don't know. Let me know in the con in the chat that like if I should add anything. I hope you guys like me being in a chicken suit. Also, I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> and um, I don't know. Let me know. I, if this had seven drop Gogeta, I'd be oh my gosh, I would just be wrecking even harder. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so hit up in the chat. I'm gonna be reading it right now um, Let me see so people are saying uh, we will be ending the stream soon, but Something said he can oh yeah the swap on oh, my bad. So Falco Remy says hey, what's up? I'm lost explain, please. He can't swap to the five. Oh, no, I, I, that was my fault linked in the That was my fault. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I, I thought it was the it's the six drop that he can't. Okay, gotcha. And then playing one make him drop from swinging charge unison. What up? Y R B D Neflim. I think that's Brandon. Um, wipe the board. It gets rid of the field. Oh, this gets fear. Oh, it gets rid of the field card too. I don't know that field card. All oh, you guys are going bananas about the field card. I didn't know it got rid of the field card. Oh shoot! Thank you guys for letting me know. Field. Field card leaves also because of Zeno. Oh, I thought it was just battle cards. I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Everyone's saying, I don't know what the name of the song is. Uh, what's this song? I Just check out Spotify free. Um, what is it? Um, something gaming music, I think, for streaming. Shout out to the Discord. That's me, baby. What up, Brandon? This is what I've been playtesting. Uh, a lot of everyone saw me. See, this is where I know where people like check out what I buy sometimes. This is why I always get outbid. Thanks, dude. Uh, uh, it was a chicken suit stream. Um, but I just bought the Trunks cards because I'm really, I have the, I just built this deck. I've been playtesting it a lot. I have a lot of fun with it. It's not a cheap deck, guys. I think it's really expensive still. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. It's very expensive. And, um, I just bought all these cards and so this is what I think I might play in the webcam tournament. I think it does really well. It does really well against Go Tanks. Um, I just gotta really look for Zeno at that point when I'm playing against Go Tanks for sure. But uh, yeah, no, this deck is very powerful. I think it's very um, it's very powerful. I mean, I when I played against Go Tanks, I think I turned the tide them turn four and they couldn't recover anymore and they lost that game. And uh, it was really, it was hard for, I drew, a, they still draw, they still draw a lot though. I kid you not. They still recovered, which was pretty crazy. Um, but I think this deck's pretty solid. I, another reason why I felt like that game dragged on a little longer was because I was playing, I wasn't playing Resolve Training before. And I took it out. Um, blue budget decks, RX, blue is just expensive. I mean, I'm running really good cards in here. The trunks are actually a little bit cheaper now. I think they've dropped to thirty dollars. The SS2 tr uh, trunks heroic. I think that's pretty reasonable in my opinion. It's a very good card. Um, Hatchack is also a really good SCR that I think is going to be very valuable in the future still. Because if your leader is blue, you could play this dude. Um, Obuni is going down because of the reprint as well. Um, any decks I recommend for beginners? I say this one. If you guys want a budget version of this, I could build it. And I'll show you guys how it is. Um, I know Zeno's super cheap. I know that SS4 Goku is super cheap. Um, I could build a budget version of this. And I think it could... Honestly, this deck is still strong. I think playing... Uh, what was it? I was thinking about playing uh, other cards in here. Like, you don't have to play Hatchiak. Um, 
I think Soul Striker. This is very similar to Soul Striker, just that I play. Um, what I'm noticing about the meta, it doesn't. A lot of decks don't go off until like turn two, three. And that's usually when I'll like start ramping up anyway. Um, and so I, I highly recommend this deck. Um, it's it's very strong. You really don't. If you don't see Zeno, at least keep my. Like Mulligan hard for Zeno. Zeno is your playmaker. Um, especially against those decks that don't really attack much. Um, you saw. I remember there was a game where I like someone played me. And I. Uh, what was it? Uh. I played, uh, what was I playing? I don't know what deck I was playing against. And they aggroed me pretty hard. But then I had, like, I had Veku. I veku first, and then I zeno Because when you charge Veku, your 6 energy. You play the 2, play Zeno right after that. And then you turn the tides on that. That turn. That's how I did it. That's how I usually do it if they are aggroing me. Don't play Zeno, because if they're playing aggro, they're going to get rid of your Zeno really fast. And Zeno is very, very, very strong. You need it, because you're going to need it like late game because you'll keep your draw power up and you could bottom deck a lot of cards because of this guy so i think um this guy has so much potential i think i'm still trying to figure it out so if anybody wants to test this deck or even c-rod's deck i think c-rod's deck was pretty solid too um i don't run apes in mine i don't ha like i said i built this the way i have it i only have two of these baby unison but i'm not a fan of this because i think this guy works really well in starter cool and I think Zeno, as you guys saw, Zeno lost. Because I couldn't get rid of a board. And so, Zeno lets me... Well, Gogeta, what I like about Gogeta is that I could bottom deck a lot of things nonstop. And it also, I play results of training just in case that turn five, like turn three, I still haven't awoken. I will play results of training for sure that turn. Because you need to. Because if you don't, you're not gonna, you're going to be stalled out and you can't even... You won't be able to draw anymore. You, you draw a lot, but I mean... You're still able to draw stuff, but I think this is a really fun deck. I've always loved Gogeta. His playstyle is very similar to like what I like doing, and um, I think I might play. Uh, I'm literally playing. Uh, if I play in the online tournament, it would be this deck that I'll play in the in the webcam, just to participate, just to like try it out and see how it does. But the new draft box stuff is coming out, so I think I might play with that instead. And um, it's pretty fun. Have you thought about adding the 4-drop Janemba from the Anniversary Box? You know what? One of my teammates told me that. He's like, dude, you ramp up pretty fast. He's like, play Janemba. I'm like, yeah. So I guess that would be a budget version for... Oh, whoops. For um, for this deck, to be honest. I think the best one would probably be... Like, if you can't afford a Boonies, then I would play the Janemba. Because he's Deflect, too, guys. He's, very, he's Deflect. And then um, he's a crit. I think that's what he does. So if you are like really, um, if you're really struggling with like, like the budget version, I would cut a boonies for those deflect. Um, what is it? Uh, that Janemba. And then if you don't have access to this, then I would just completely cut this engine and put uh, more. Um... No, right now there's no Veku answers. Be believe it or not, people are like nothing gets rid of like the only matchup you should feel a little worried about would be blue but even if you go first they can't play this card against you with your veku yet because by then your turn three they're bringing out the baby and then by then you have your unison out and then they don't really attack they'll attack the unison but they don't have a lot of like board removal they won't have aggro place against starter coup that's what i noticed and I literally turned the tide on them right after that. And they were just like, well, that sucks. <laughs> and I mean, I awaken first. Obviously, I need to awaken. Like, I'll play Resolve Training. Like, I'm old school. I'll play Resolve Training. That's why I play two of them. Because I've struggled where I don't awaken fast enough. Or I'll play Vegeta at all costs. But by then, I play this dude. They're already at, like, they, they're in a really tough spot. They can't really do much. Untap three and draw a card into your opponent's turn. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm telling you guys, if you can't afford a boonie, I would substitute a boonie for that. Um, the Janemba is really good. I would substitute that. And then I would probably... If you can't get this guy, I would substitute it for Topo and then just cut this uh, Disciplined Warrior because... But if you do that, I mean, if you can't afford this package, 
then I honestly still say run it with the original like red blue stuff and then make it um, just be careful because you need blue for this guy and this guy and then I would just cut this guy completely and keep this guy um, like the budget version I would cut these obviously for the original 4-4 from that the expansion set from this expansion set I would cut those for these for those guys cut these for those and then um, instead of this run topo so you could at least charge one red energy if you really play it smart you could actually topo them like use this guy and then topo them and then that following turn just blow up that energy and draw two cards and this guy would still be active because this guy says if your leader card is blue and your four lives are less um, you get 10,000 co combo and as long as all your mon your energy is blue so as long as you constantly KO the red energy, you're fine. But I mean, like I said, that's when you're running Topo and all that, and it starts getting harder, I feel. Um, I don't like it, personally. Um, honestly, the best budget colors are red, black, and yellow. Yellow's cool, I like those decks too. I'm, I think if I do play a yellow deck, it would probably be Golden Frieza Mono Yellow, if not Blue Yellow, would probably be my route. A lot of people are playing the green yellow one. But I think blue still has a lot of cool stuff that you could like, that's indestructible, you could block. Like there's a lot of things right now that are just really good. But um, no, I highly recommend this guy. This guy's so much fun. I think next stream I'll do next Friday will probably be Golden Frieza, like mono yellow, just because I know a lot of people play that one drop uh, Goku. And there's like cards that like Frieza's army, the one that puts anything that's three or less or two or less to rest mode. And um, I like that. I like mono yellow just because it's just it's cool. <laughs> I like mono yellow in general. Like I think mono yellow. People like the lemon lime. Was it green yellow? Lemon and chili. Which one's lemon and chili? Oh, red yellow. I'm guessing. Or green yellow, green, uh, green, red, right? But there you guys have it. This is the deck I've been playtesting. It's fun. It's very fun. It's strong. Um, I'll put it in the description in the chat if you guys want to try it out. If tweak tweak it to your like play style. I've been playing this. Um, I definitely want to keep um, playing it. I think it's still missing something. I don't know what it is. I think, yeah, I, this also helps you save awaken, like helps you awaken too. So that's a really nice thing. That's why I played. Every color have the money card in this format. Um, honestly, if you want a budget version, you could honestly play, um, just get rid of, if this is too expensive, play the regular Goku, the, the Goku Oob. You ramp up fast enough for it. You'll hit eight energy pretty easily. Um, but I don't think at that point I would play that. I would play the, the 10 drop Gogeta engine, like the, that original Gogeta stuff, like just play that. And I think you could do really well. Still with that. I'll do the red blue var variant. I think the blue red one is pretty solid too. Um, and this guy, oh no, you, this is too expensive. These guys are expensive. They're like 25 bucks each. Yeah, this deck is 765 bucks. It's expensive. But luckily I have all these cards already. I pulled them, except this guy. I had to buy this guy and this guy. So I, I pretty much bought the cards like the tournament pack ones didn't have those because obviously you can go to tournaments but there you guys have it smash a like for this live stream Th thank you everyone that tuned in um but there are di like definitely budget versions of this i think Gogeta is still one of the strongest leaders you could probably play right now um people are just don't seem to be playing it for some reason it's very strong bottom deck any card um that's how i got rid of go tanks and then turning the tides is probably like the best card in the game for this deck since Gogeta's gone, this guy is so much better. Be careful with Jiren. I don't expect people to play Jiren though, but I mean, I mean, by then you should be winning. Like if you ramp up fast enough, you'll be like wrecking guys. Like I, I would play mono red and blue. Don't, and don't forget to join the Discord. Let me put it in the chat. Uh, the Super players worldwide. We might be doing tournaments eventually again. Um, we just don't want to. Uh, let me see. I don't know, it's just comp Bandai. We talked to Bandai and I don't know if they want us doing that often, you know? 
Where is the invitation? Can someone give me an invitation link so I can just post it on the chat? Oh, here we go, create invite. So if you guys wanna join, here it is. Definitely join the Discord. You guys are amazing if you do. Bunch of great dudes, Aerogod, uh, KC3 is awesome. Tamer is really good. They're all really good players. Like all these dudes just like constantly top. So if you guys ever wanna play test with someone, they're my go-to. I love them to death. They wreck me all the time and then I get better and I do really well in events because of that. But yeah, join the Discord. Those guys are great. Uh, Arrow always posts like great articles. Tamer's also a really good dude to ask questions because he's. If you want questions for online tournaments, and then RD is really good too. Um, but if you want questions about webcam tournaments, I think Tamer and KC3 are like a really good resource to tell you like how the events go. And Arrow is always like, he sees it like, this is a sport, like a real big sport. <laughs> it's a card game, but he like analyzes everything. So he'll give you like really good t deck tips as well. Like the guys, there, everyone there is amazing guys. Like the admin there, beside, like if I can't be on there as much, but I know the admin that is in charge of it are great. I know KC3 is awesome. Tamer's awesome. We even have a, su a super Giru, which is phenomenal i think that's awesome i was like level one scrub super giru i'm like what is this i didn't even know we had that and i was like this is dope but definitely follow guys i'll put it one more time um i probably might do this every friday with c rod c rod might join me as well maybe he could watch both of us play possibly and uh yeah follow these guys or follow the super plays and these guys will give you some really cool tips but there you guys have it me from a chicken suit. Thank you guys for tuning in these two hours. And I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys. And like always, y'all stay super. Catch you guys next Friday.